The lower your price goes, the less profit you're gonna have. The lower your price goes, the less perceived value you have of yourself because you're like, I'm a low cost leader. And all of a sudden, if you look back up to your clients, they're they are not emotionally invested. They're not getting the results you want. You don't have the profit. So you think less of yourself when you look in the mirror. Like I'm not a successful business owner. If you're a gym owner or a business owner, this is probably the most important video on pricing you will ever see. And if you can unlock this piece inside your business, you will unlock tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of dollars in revenue. And more importantly, you will get your clients better results. Let's dive in. My name is Kalon. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And this is part of a series for our free step-by-step -step guide on how to build a gym from wherever you're at to over $100,000 per month. And if you want that guide, which has 29 other frameworks similar to this and process that you can use that our clients pay us $40,000 per year to get access to. You can get it for free by clicking the link down in the description, trade your email address for it. We'll send it right over. Promise we won't spam you and you can get access to this and more plus video breakdowns of each one. Written descriptions, you need. So anyways, let's dive into this. This is called the virtuous versus vicious cycle of price. Why this is so important. The point of having a business is to make more money, but in order to make more money, we have to help more people. And so we have to get people results, especially in the gym industry. And so one of the things that's really important about this is there's kind of this paradox or around business pricing. And unfortunately, most gym owners that we talk to, 99% of gym owners, are one, not charging the prices that they should be. Two, don't believe that they should be charging more, which is really sad because as a gym owner, if you're watching this, you are really on the front lines of changing the world. As a former gym owner myself, I get it. That's the piece that I miss the most is actually changing people's lives and impacting where they're at. But I get to do it through gym owners now by arming gym owners like you with the right skill sets that you need to change people's lives. Let's look through this. If you have a lower price and it doesn't take a lot to invest in your program, like you're charging $100, $120, $150 a month for your services on a large group training facility, their emotional investment isn't really going to be high. What's interesting is the higher you go, the more emotionally invested your clients are in the program. Also, if you decrease the price, their perceived value of your program is really low. On the flip side, if we increase the price, their perceived value of your program goes up. And so with that, they also will take your time more seriously. They'll take your approach more seriously and they'll actually follow through, which means the next step is results. So as you decrease price, results typically decrease because people are just paying and they're showing up. They're not emotionally invested. There's no perceived value. So if they're going to stick to a plan, why should they stick to a plan? If you've ever wondered and been there wondering why your clients aren't getting the results and you give them things like nutrition plans and all the stuff to be successful and you're sitting there wondering why aren't they successful? This is why. Because if they're not paying, they're not paying attention. Payment needs to be uncomfortable enough to where it reminds them that they're actually paying, but not too high where you're going to run into spending wallets and price elasticity that's going to cause problems with churn and things like that. The next piece is what's interesting is there's an increase in demandingness from clients that pay less money. For example, as a gym owner, I struggled with my clients that paid the least amount of money that were always the ones that were complaining about the music. They were complaining about the workouts. They were complaining that some the new trainer, right? They didn't like the way that we were structured our warmups. They were always demanding more time and they were always complaining that we were charging too high $25 for a shirt. They're like, why can't it be $15 or whatever? And they were always complaining and I wanted to rip my hair out until I came across this and I realized that the more your clients will pay, the less demanding they will be because because they will realize that they are paying for a service. It's a full expectation of that service and here's what you get. In a world where you can get things at literally one click buy option on Amazon and it seems super inexpensive and you have all these things, if you are inexpensive as well, your perceived value and the demandingness is gonna increase. The next piece is revenue for fulfillment per customer. It's obviously gonna increase if you charge a higher price. You're gonna have more profit and more margin to be able to give back to your clients to create a better experience. This is the thing that I think most gym owners miss out on and what I missed out on the most when I owned my gym prior to charging more is I realized, I was like, man, I want to do all these cool things. I want to have a Christmas party. I want to be able to do potlucks. I want to be able to give gifts to all my clients just because I want to, right? I want to give back to them. I want to give roses to every woman that walks in on Valentine's day, right? All these things, but I didn't have the margin to do that. That would come out of food on the table for me, my kids, my family. And we were so close, the margins are so close, I didn't have anything to give. But as we switched and changed, all of a sudden, now I'm I'm paying for an entire Christmas party for 150, 200 guests, including food, band, renting out a space, you name it, with no problem. We're giving flowers to every single woman that walks in on Valentine's Day. We're sending random gifts of 15 to $25 value to our clients just because we want to and we were thinking about it. So now we have the margin to be able to do that. Now, from a business standpoint, it's pretty obvious. The, the lower your price goes, the less profit you're gonna have. The lower your 
your price goes, the less perceived value you have of yourself because you're like, I'm a low cost leader. And all of a sudden, if you look back up to your clients, they're, they are not emotionally invested. They're not getting the results that you want. You don't have the profit. So you think less of yourself when you look in the mirror, like I'm not a successful business owner. And you could walk around and say, cause this was me. I walked around and I was thinking, I'm like, I'm a business owner. I'm an entrepreneur, all this stuff. And like, there's this status that goes with that. But then when you look at my bank account, I had more money when I got a job. I had way more money when I had a job and I was way happier about myself and what I was able to do. The next thing is uh, perception of impact, like the results that you have. And this is really, really important is that as you charge more, your impact will be higher, which means also your perception of the impact and the results that you get is gonna grow up. And this is why we do business is to change people's lives. And then your service levels are going to decrease if you charge less because you can't provide different ones, but it can increase as you charge a higher price and have other things. If you have a sales team, your conviction is gonna skyrocket when you charge more because the results and everything else that happens with the clients is going to go up. So there's just this incredible, incredible cycle that goes into effect as you charge the right prices, okay? So instead of just going conceptual here and going through theory, if it's cool with you, I wanna walk you through exactly what we suggest for pricing structure. So let me show you exactly what we do and excuse the, the squiggly and poor handwriting, but this is Jim Launch's wildly profitable gym pricing structure. And this is what we have used and found after working with 4,500 plus gyms around the world. This is the metric that we go off of. So LG equals large group. So large group we define as 16 or more people in a class. And for three times a week, not unlimited, never offer unlimited sessions, always three times a week. You can do twice a week, no unlimited. Don't do it. For three times a week, it's $49 a week. And we suggest billing either weekly or every 28 days. So $49 a week. If you're doing the math, it's 196 every four weeks. If you look at it monthly, it's roughly about 210 a month. This is for large group for three times a week. Semis, so semi-privates, which are six, five, or four on one. So no more than six on ones is anywhere between 119 to 149 a week is what we found that works really well. PT, so personal training, 199 a week or more for three times a week. And then hybrid. Hybrid is simply custom nutrition and accountability. So you're bolting it onto their normal membership. You can also do it where they're not at your gym and you're just providing custom nutrition and accountability. We all know that that's the piece that gets people the most results. But hybrid is $77 to $99 a week. How this works with a hybrid program, if you have someone in large group and they're coming three times a week and they want to bolt on hybrid, instead of charging 77 or 99 a week on top of their 49 a week, it just replaces that. So if they join your hybrid program, they're now paying 99 a week rather than 49 a week and they're getting custom nutrition plans and accountability that holds them through. Hopefully this helps. Um, what's really important to understand is with this pricing, what we found by implementing the retention practices that are later on in this playlist and also in this download that you can grab, the five horsemen of retention and all the practices that go along with that, is not only do our clients raise prices, typically they double their prices when they join us, but they also see a decrease in churn by 50%. So they go from an average of 16% churn to 8% churn. So not only are they charging more, but they're keeping their clients twice as long. Really interesting, that's an insane switch from charging less and keeping your clients less to now all of a sudden your clients are staying longer twice as long and you're charging twice as much. So it's a big swing when it comes to financials. Hopefully you found this valuable. If you want more access to all this different stuff that's in this right here, just like frameworks like these, go ahead, click the link down below, put in your email address, we'll send it right over. And as always, if you find value in this, go ahead, click the subscribe and uh, hit that like and drop a comment. Let us know if you'd like to see more of this. I'll see you on the next video.